Hello guys, this is That Snazzy iPhone Guy, and today we're going to be reviewing, oh wow, um, Air Mouse. Okay, now, uh, there we go. Uh, this is an amazing application. What it does is through your wireless network, it connects your phone to your computer. Now you're going, huh, what? Just listen to this. So this acts as a mouse and a keyboard. Okay, now my Mac Mini at my house, we love it, it's great, but there's a few limitations. Our Bluetooth keyboard doesn't work that great, it's super expensive, the mouse, not fantastic. I mean, the keyboard is actually good, but the mouse, there's nowhere to set the mouse. I mean, so this is really, really, really amazing. Um, what Air Mouse does is uh, it acts as a trackpad, as a mouse, and as a... Uh, keyboard. Now it's really really neat. Uh, you have to go to airmouse.com. The application is five dollars. Let me start off. Oh and I actually just downloaded the software. My bad. Okay so you have to download their software for it to work. I mean not that bad. You just install it, drag it into your applications folder. I have it right here. And uh, what you do is on the Mac they throw a little icon up there. Shoot how am I gonna do this guys. And uh, that's your little mouse right there and you say open Air Mouse server settings. You're then brought to this menu. There's the air motion, I'll show you in a second, the speed, the function, the media, the web, and then the touch motion. And I'll show you that later. Now function, you can set your function keys, so spaces, if you push F5, that's where it takes me. All that good stuff. And uh, so that's, that's that. Um, and then all you have to do is apply and then push done. So we're done. Um, now, uh, now that we've done that, this is what we do. Uh, really, really neat. Okay, did you just see that? See this? I will prove... Oh, man, how am I going to do this? Two hands, all right? You can see in the background, there's my mouse. It's right there. Moving. Wow. Okay, so now you can launch Safari. You go, you browse around. Oh, let's see. Let's go to uh, the store. Just double tap it. Just chill around. You just move the trackpad down. Oh, I want the. Uh, I want to double click the Apple Store to select. There's a right click button. There's a left click button. There's a scroll wheel. Very nice feature. And there's a keyboard. Okay, now there are mouse features. They just don't work great. Now watch this. I will not touch my keyboard. Now there is a little bit of a delay, but not bad whatsoever. T H A T. Okay, ready? S N A Z Z Y. Oops, Y. Now it shows you here so you know what you're typing. I've. Oh man. Now to me, it seems that you can't type incredibly fast or else it does miss a few letters. It actually nailed it right there. It really just depends on the speed of your connection. Uh, the faster the connection, the more things that uh, it's connected to, the easier and the faster it works, okay? Now, uh, great. So, that's cool, you know, decent. Uh, all you have to do is flick up for the keyboard. <laughs> all you have to do is flick up for the keyboard, flick down to get it away. You can turn the landscape orientation this way, and this acts exactly as a laptop trackpad, okay? You just go right there, the click button is with your left finger, or there's the right click, so you just, I mean, this is the most fantastic feature. This is what I use all the time, because I'm used to a laptop, and you know, I mean, I have that PowerBook G4. This is fantastic. So on the couch, instead of having to get this weird thing and use the mouse really oddly, it's just a trackpad, and I mean, and it works. Look at this. So there's that computer, yeah, oh, blam. Now, this is what's cool about the application. Is, uh, so what happens is, you get the keyboard up for crap's sake. Um, you can move around, you know? Uh, what happens when uh, you run out of screen? This takes up a lot of real estate. Doesn't matter, you can still move all around the keyboard. As long as you start in the black, it doesn't matter where you venture off to. Now, you're thinking, well, what about other stuff, like command keys? Oh, they're all there, see that? Command Q, just quit the application. Fantastic. There's a bunch of other things you can do. So let's see, what is this up here? To uh, 
force quit. We push this, no, we get the keyboard out first. That's my only thing, it's a little too gentle. We push that, and then that, and then we push escape. Where would that go? I think it's under function key, so we have to go like this, uh, and then escape. So there we go, it brought up the force quit menu. So it is a little hard to navigate, but look, this is what's cool. Okay, so you saw that. Oh, darn it, get up there, you freak. All right, keyboard, and then uh, that. Sounds good, right? Well, you can still navigate around, still as normal. Double tap to get rid of that window on my computer. Okay, so now, here we are. There's all the function keys, there's arrow keys, there's uh, the hot keys I've set up, there's the home, blah, blah, blah. That's stuck, I don't know why. And uh, so those are the function keys. Now there are internet keys. So did you just see that? When I hit my internet keys, it launched my browser. So we're gonna quit it right here through the keyboard. All right, so I'm typing blah, 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 blah. Okay, oh, I need to launch Safari. Just push the internet and there you go, it pops up. So this is really neat. If I wanna hit up my homepage, which I'm already on, I can just hit home and that's where it goes. So let's go to uh, YouTube.com. All right, oops, I wanna go home. Just click the home button. And there you go. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Go back. Okay, let's search for uh, the, uh, let's search for, and then you click to the keyboard, snazzy iPhone guy. There you go. There's the quit, the favorites button. There's your all your bookmarks. Um, refresh, reloads, there's up and down. If for This increases or decreases the size of the text. So if you'll watch here. because I have this clicked, hold on. So smaller, smaller, that's as small as it gets, but look how large it will get here. Oh, come on, guys. Larger, 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 larger. So it gets really, really big, you know? And then uh, there's iTunes. So you click your music player, and this one does not launch automatically, which is kind of a bummer, but you know, no big problem. Now look what happens when I push menu, right? Uh, when I push, hold on, that didn't work. When I push menu, 